हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर्किटरी सिंपलीफाइड बाय डॉक्टर शोभा निगम ऑफ कॉज मी वर्किंग विद एआईएसएसएमएस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ईएनटीसी इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिजिटल सिस्टम and those are fan in and fan out whether you are designing any digital system or you are simply exploring digital logic design understanding of fan in and fan out is very important basic building block of any digital system is a gate so it can be inverter it can be nand gate nor gate and gate or gate xor x nor any gate and as we know every gate has inputs and output so fan in refers to the number of input signals a logic gate can accept let's take an example of nand gate here in nand gate there can be two inputs there can be three inputs so there can be multiple inputs so in case of three input nand gate fan in is 3 for two input nand gate fan in is 2 when number of inputs increases complexity increases and hence there is a potential increase in a delay now let's move to system level whenever we design any digital system what we do we connect gates together so fan out is the number of input terminals a gates output can connect to without degrading its performance for example if one gates output is connected to four inputs of different gates the fan out is four so gates can be fabricated using either ttl uh, logic families or using cmos so typical fan out for ttl logic family is 10 whereas typical fan out for cmos family is more than 25 in a cmos circuits fan out is typically determined by the capacitance of the inputs rather than the current whereas in case of ttl family the fan out is determined by based on the current higher fan out can lead to slower circuit operation due to increased capacitance and load so here in this diagram you can see when fan out increases gate delay also increases here what happens one output driving several inputs and each gate being driven adds load and because of that added load it increases load and hence it increases capacitance also and that is why delay also increases let's see how to calculate fan out of a typical ttl circuit Uh, i have taken this example from uh, isro's uh, test uh, paper uh, which was designed by um, vikram sarabhai space uh, center so the question is calculate fan out of a ttl circuit with the following specifications and the specifications are given as iol maximum that is low level output current iil maximum that is low level input current ioh maximum that is high level output current and iih maximum that is high level input current so as we all are aware about digital systems it has two logical levels zero and one so low level and high level so here for calculation we can calculate high level fan out and low level fan out so for calculation of high level fan out the formula is high level output current divided by high level input current and to calculate low level fan out the formula is uh, the uh, maximum value of low level output current divided by maximum value of low level input current so here after substituting given values high level fan out is 400 divided by 10 so that is 40 and low level fan out is 32 divided by 1.6 and all uh, and the uh, uh, low level currents are given in milliamperes and high level currents are given in microamperes so low level fan out we got uh, as 20 so effective fan out is 
uh, for high level it is 40 and for low level it is 20. But what we'll consider? We'll consider the minimum value. How many minimum number of gates we can connect to the output of one particular gate? So it was all about fan in and fan out. Let me know in the comments if there is some topic you want me to cover next. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next video.